Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today I have something that I think a lot of you have been waiting on. I apologize on the delay, but I got another top 10 Cydia tweaks for all of you. This is part three, so let's go ahead and begin. First up, we have one of my personal favorites, and that is Barrel. Now how Barrel works is it provides you with custom animations, well transition animations for your icons on your home screen. So as you swipe from page to page, it gives it a very neat effect. And I guess I can show you better than I can tell you, so I'm going to give you a demonstration of what I mean exactly. And as you can see here, as I'm swiping from page to page, my icons transition differently than they normally would with this tweak installed. To configure any options within Barrel, you're going to want to open it up from settings and then find the Barrel application. And as you can see here, we have different modes, which are transitions. And I'm just going to show a demonstration of a few. This one is carousel. But I do like using random. That kind of gives you a feel for how all of them look or more of them look rather because as you swipe from page to page instead of it giving you one animation it gives you different animations that you have to choose from in your options so you can kind of get an example of more of them you just necessarily may not know which one you're looking at but that's barrel next up we have paper lock it gives you custom transitions from your lock screen to your home screen as you can see here, when I unlock my phone, it gives me this paper effect. It's very realistic because it flows with the movement of your finger, and that's something that I do like. To configure it, you're going to go into your settings where you can disable it or enable it. You can also change the page anchor, which is the side that you unlock your phone from, whether it be the left side or the right side. Personally, like the right because it's more familiar, though. And journeying to the bottom, you can customize the text that appears where the slider is. So instead of it saying slide to unlock, you can make it say whatever you so choose. And in this case, I'm going to demonstrate by putting my channel name, Tech Me Out. Now that I have done that, I'm going to customize the theme because you only have three options. I showed you full page, so I'm gonna show you the Band-Aid effect now. And it gives you this Band-Aid, very realistic once again. It goes with, it flows with the movement of your finger when you unlock your device. And as you can see, Tech Me Out is displayed on top. Uh, so that's Band-Aid. I'm gonna show you the last effect, which is Plastic Tab. Now it doesn't show up as well on this lock screen because I have a white background, but you can still see it and you can see the text. However, because this is white, you probably would want a darker background if you're going to use this one. And it flows with your move, the movement of your finger as well. Next up, we have No Camera Grabber. This tweak gets rid of the camera that generally appears here at the bottom on your lock screen where slide to unlock is, it's generally here in the corner, but this tweak gets rid of that so you don't have that display there any longer. Also, while I'm on my lock screen, I want to point out Clockify. That's our next tweak that we're gonna talk about. And it gives you this simple, clean, very minimalistic clock up here at the top. It displays all of the time zones that you have programmed into your clock application. While also on my lock screen, I wanna point out Unlock Eyes. Very similar to Paper Lock, except it provides you with more transitions. And now that I'm on my home screen, you also see another addition to Clockify. It gives you this analog clock there. But I'm gonna jump into my settings so you can see even more options for Clockify. And now that I'm in here, you can see that you have the option to disable it or enable it, change the appearance of the clock on your home screen, which is what you just saw. Default makes it so when it's daytime, it's bright. When it's nighttime, it's dark. And you can just customize which style you like the best. Jumping into Unlock Eyes, the customization options that you have here are the transition effects. And like I said before, I'm not gonna show all of them, but I will show a few of them. And this one in particular is Blinds gives you this kind of chopped up effect. And next I'd like to show you Checker. This one's interesting as well. It gives you the checkerboard effect, which more, in my opinion, more looks like a fading effect. And I, I like that one. That's one of my favorites in Unlock Eyes. And lastly, this one's a new one. 
And this one gives you this kind of cube 3D effect when you unlock your phone. I like this one as well because it's different. I haven't seen this type of transition, but that's Unlock Eyes. Coming in at number six, we have Animate All. This one is pretty cool because it gives you this live wallpaper as not only your lock screen, but also as your home screen. It even gives it to you in your notification center, which will I'll, which I'll show you later. But you have it on every page. It's not just on your first page or anything like that. It's pretty fluid. And I don't have any lag or anything on my phone. And it's different. It really makes your device stand out. You can configure the options for this tweak in your settings. And you get these live wallpapers from boot logos. These are actually boot logos used as your wallpaper. So that's how you get them if you're wondering. But with Animate All, you have the option to disable or enable it on the lock screen, home screen, or notification center. So if you want it on a particular page, you can turn it on and off for that page. And these are just a few install boot animations I have. You can preview it. But in order for the change to take effect, you need to respring your device. You can even change the transition time, um, how fast it moves. And I'm going to enable it in my notification center actually so I can show you how it looks inside there so like I said before you do need to respring in order for this to take effect so I'm going to let my device respring and now I'm going to slide down my notification center and as you can see it puts the live wallpaper there as well next we have dashboard X this is honestly one of my favorites right here because it gives you the widgets that are typically in your notification center on your home screen. It has a style similar to an Android device, but you can put just about any widget that you would normally have in your notification center, as I said before, on your lock screen and you can position it wherever you want. Something that I would like to note to get the most out of this application is to also install Gridlock. That way you can better position your widgets where you want them. So I'm going to just put a few up here and I'm gonna stop there. Just get these positioned a little bit better. <laughs> and to get it out of wiggle mode, of course, like you would do if you're deleting the app, you just hit the home button. But these widgets are interactive, just as if they're in your notification center. You can swipe through them, such as the weather forecast. You can look at the conditions as you would in notification center. And the same thing for the time, the clock as well. You can swipe through and look at all your different time zones that you have in your clock application. Next, we have Dater. Dater just provides you with the time and the date on the wall not the wallpapers on the pictures that you have in your device so if you're curious when you may have taken a picture as far as what date was it or what time was it install data and that information will be given to you you can also long press on it and more information will be given regarding the photo as well now while i'm in my photos application i also want to show you another tweak which is ios 6 photos menu it gives you the new layout for iOS 6 into your current device. So you can quickly send pictures via text message, Google Plus, Facebook, use it as your wallpaper, print it. All of those options are now available right here from in your photos menu. And last but certainly not least, we have AppSync. AppSync gives you a percentage of your download from the app store versus the normal progress bar you generally get so you get a more accurate description of how far your download is in the downloading process so as you can see here there is the percentage there at the bottom located be below the application i'm currently downloading so that sums my top 10 up and now I want to hear back from you guys. Which tweaks did you enjoy? Which did you already have on your phone? And even which ones didn't you like or care to see? Drop it down below and let's get some conversation going. Also, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Tech Me Out. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. And also subscribe up top if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up button down below. I greatly appreciate it. So um, if you're still listening to me, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button now if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. 
But that sums up my top 20. Tw- <laughs> I have all these tongue twisters. Oh, God.